In this video, I'm going to share a really, really great free Android app that's especially helpful when you're blind or visually impaired. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible. One of the struggles that I had when I started using TalkBack was there was no specific gesture to pause and play media. On the iPhone, you just do a two finger double tap and as long as it's a supported app, it will pause and play your media that's playing in the background. And it was frustrating with TalkBack because you have to open the application, you have to find the pause or play button and do it that way unless you were using a headset or a, head, a Bluetooth headphones that had a play pause button which you can use also. Um, but there was no way to do that when you just had the phone. So I asked on a blind and visually impaired Android list in Facebook and what they did if I was missing something or what was a way around that. And somebody answered me and told me about the app called Button Mapper, which is an amazing app and I've been using it since then. And it has literally changed the way I use my phone because I have set up a shortcut for the pause and play, but I have also set up a shortcut to invert the colors. Because for me, it was really inconvenient to either have to go to the notification shade and tap on invert colors or have to um, use the accessibility shortcut for invert colors. And then that would mean that I can't use it for talkback. And so having a physical hardware button shortcut to be able to do that is so much faster and more efficient for me. And I also have a shortcut to launch WeZoom, the magnifier app, which I have to do a separate video on of really cool updates that they have done or the developer is working on. Sometimes you just really want to read something or you need to see something really quickly. And you know, you have to like go to your home screen and find the right icon or ask Google Assistant or whatever to um, open the app. With Button Mapper, all you have to do is press a hardware shortcut that you specify or you pick and it will launch that application or the magnifier, whatever you want to do with it. By the way, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. We do videos on technology, tips, resources, and encouragement for people who are blind, visually impaired, and sighted supporters. So please hit that subscribe button and the bell for more videos like these. So here is my Pixel 2 XL and I already have the app installed, but you can go to the Play Store and look for Button Mapper. It says Button Mapper, remapping your keys, and it is totally free. There is a pro version, but there are a lot of features that are on the free version. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. I'll double tap here. So TalkBack does pretty well with it. There's only certain places where it says unlabeled, but it's really just a picture. And if you ignore that, you won't be missing anything. So I'm going to swipe to the right. More options, buttons, inlet, active edge, volume up. So I have made shortcuts with the volume up and the volume down button, but I'm only going to go over a few of the shortcuts or what you can do and then you guys can explore from there. So I'm going to go to the volume up. Showing items one to seven eight. And you want to swipe to the right. Make sure that you have customized toggle on. You have to have that on to be able to make the shortcut. So if I swipe to the right again. So the single tap is the default, which is volume up. It'll do a volume up. I would encourage you not to um, change that. But the next one is a... Okay, so right here, you see it's unlabeled, but it's just a picture. Even if you tap on that, it won't actually let you do anything. Um, so you swipe again. So right now I have the double pressing the volume up button will bring up WeZoom. So if I double tap there. Alert actions on top. Button mapper on bottom. Alert actions. Drop down list. Actions. Double dash tap to change. So right here, there's a list of different options that you can do. So there's like going home, the back button, the overview, to do pause or play, to go next, to go forward, to go backwards. You can even call up assistant or so many different things here. And you can also toggle between vibrate, uh, mute, and normal sound settings. 
you also have a drop down menu that says actions, the first thing that you're focused on. If you double tap there, pop up window, actions, in list, three items. You can double swipe to the right, items. applications, and it says applications. And if you double tap there, alert applications, applications, it will make a list of every single app that's on your device and you can double tap on any of those apps and make a shortcut for that so say i wanted to double tap the volume up to bring up um if i wanted to open bard mobile right so let's double tap on bard mobile now if i double tap double press the volume up loading bard mobile slash screen bard mobile bookshelf is going to open the Bard app. Now, the only problem with using the double tap shortcut is that sometimes with TalkBack, it opens the volume menu. And so that can be a little bit annoying. Now, if I go back to Button Mapper, the next one is a long press. And if um, this is what I really like. So I have it set to long press um, to pause and play on a volume up long press. So if I go to YouTube, let's talk about white canes and everything you need to know about them. So if I have a video open, I can press and hold the volume up button and it pauses. If I'm on the home screen and I press and hold the volume up button, and we're from Live Accessible, we've been getting a lot of requests to talk about canes it plays the video. This also works for any audio or Spotify, Pandora, things like that, that do support the pause and play. Um, there's certain apps that don't support that, but anything pretty much that um, works with a Bluetooth headset that does pause and play, it should be able to um, do the same thing with that. Now back at Button Mapper app, there's a lot of different options that you can go through. And if you back out of here, on the main Button Mapper menu, you can do the same. Um, you can make shortcuts with the volume down button or the headset button or make your own shortcuts if you have like an extra uh, button on your device, like a camera button or a Bixby button, you can change that. Um, certain things you have to use the computer to be able to um, change it. And for certain things, you'll have to get the pro version, but for everything that I have mentioned so far, you don't. And the only thing with invert colors, which I have it enabled right here, if I double press the volume down button, it will invert the colors for me. And I had to do that on the computer. I will go over that last. If you go to the bottom of the menu, there are different, um, a lot of different settings that you can go through but just doing what I mentioned in this video just makes such a difference for me. You can even call up Alexa um, if you want to so like I have that set up for a long press with the volume down button. What time is it? It's 3.01 p.m. So she'll answer for you and one other thing that I thought was pretty neat is that the developer created themes for Button Mapper. More options. If I swipe to the right and double tap, pop up window, reset to defaults. And I swipe to the Start right, slash stop, uninstall, theme, high contrast. I can go to high contrast, Button Mapper, like. and it will make it white on black um, text, except for the headings, which is really pretty neat of the developer to do. And I don't think the developer created this app for people that are blind or visually impaired, but this really does help a lot with accessibility and really does make a difference. So thank you for creating this app. Thank you for making it pretty accessible. They have made a really great app with this thing and I definitely encourage you to try it out if you have an Android phone. So one of my favorite things about Button Mapper is being able to invert the colors. Again, I have it set up so that I double press the volume down button twice and it inverts it. But I had to use the computer to do this and I want to walk you guys very quickly on how to do this. And if you need to go slower, just you can just pause the video and follow it step by step. So first you have to go to settings. 
Once you're in settings, you have to scroll all the way down until you get to about phone. You tap on that and you go to the last thing, which is build number. And you have to press this about seven or eight times until it gives you a notification that the developer options are open. Then you have to back out, out of that and you go to system and then you go to advanced and then you go to developer settings, which is the second to the last for my phone. And then so you have to enable this and then you have to go scroll down until you get to USB debugging and enable that. So you just kind of keep scrolling down until you get to the debugging heading and then it should be the first one under there. It says USB debugging and you have to have that on. And then what you want to do is plug the phone into the computer. To do the invert colors, you're gonna need to use a Windows computer or well, I think you can do it on Mac as well, but I am not that advanced to be able to do it there. So I won't be able to help you. Once you have it plugged into the computer, go to your browser and go to setup, S-E-T-U-P dot button mapper, no spaces, dot app, A-P-P. So setup dot button mapper dot app in the address bar. Then you're going to click on the download button for Windows. Download the file and once it's downloaded, open the file explorer to where you saved it. Right click and press applic or you can press application key and select extract all. And then you go to that folder that you just unzipped and you can run the button mapper. It's called button mapper setup with no spaces and it's an exe or application file. This should open a smaller screen in the middle. It's pretty accessible with NVDA or JAWS in case you're using it. You can just press the tab key to go through the different items on the screen. It's a bit out of order, but you know, it will read everything to you. You need to click or select um, grant right underscore secure underscore settings permission and just select it once this is a toggle and it should tell you that permissions are granted then you can go back to your phone in the button mappers app then you go to shortcuts in my case it's double pressing the volume down button and then in the actions menu you scroll down until you get to invert colors and that's how you set it up Thanks for staying until the end. Uh, definitely, if you try out this app, leave a comment below and let me know what your experience is and what shortcuts you have set up. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos on how you can live accessible. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.